Bangladesh recorded their biggest margin victory in Test cricket, defeating the West Indies by an innings and 184 runs. It was also the first innings defeat that Bangladesh had handed to opposition in Test cricket. The platform was laid by the batsmen with Sheikh Ibal Hussain, Shadman Islam, Light on Das and Mahadula Riyad amongst the runs. Riyad's ton helped Bangladesh to a first innings total of 508. Bangladesh then picked up five wickets yesterday as the bowlers bamboozled Windies in a spin web. They picked up five wickets yesterday and another 15 today as West Indies crumbled twice while batting for less than three full sessions. Mehdi Miraz was the hero with the ball for Bangladesh. Having bagged seven in the first innings, he bagged another five in the second innings to bag 12 wickets in the match. Mehdi Miraz bagged his third wicket of the innings and his second 10-wicket haul in Korea, the second Bangladesh bowler after Sheikh Hib to achieve this feat, as Devendra Bishu edged to Sumia Sakarat's lip. Miraz then hit Hetmeyer after the left-hander hit a stormy 92 ball 93 as Windies lost their eighth wicket. Youngster Naeem took the wicket of Shane Darich before Hetmeyer laid seas as Windy's score crossed 100. Having reached his 50 in the same over that Darich got out, Hetmeyer hit four more sixes, including three in the same over off Sheikh Ibal Hussain. Miraz bagged his second wicket in this innings after Bangladesh made West Indies follow on. The visitors are staring down the barrel of a series whitewash as they still trail by 312 runs. The off-spinner, who bagged a career-best seven-wicket haul in the first innings broke the Hetmeyer Hope 56-run stand as Hope whipped one off the back foot straight to Sheikh Ibal Hussain at mid-wicket. Following the loss of four wickets in the morning session, Shimron Hetmeyer and Shai Hope stood their ground against Bangladesh spinners to star in a 50-run fifth wicket stand. Hetmeyer counterattacked with Gutso, trying to take the game to the spinners. He traded in sixes, hitting four so far, including two back-back sixes off Tajil Islam after lunch. Meanwhile Hope looked to play second fiddle during the partnership with Wendy's still trailing by 316 runs. The Bangladesh spinners are running rings around the West Indies batsmen as the visitors got off to another bad start in their second innings after following on at the Sri Bangla National Stadium in Merkur today. West Indies became the first team that were made to follow on by the Tigers. West Indies lost four more wickets after following on as Sheikh Ibn Miraz bagged one wicket each and Tajul bagged two. Sheikh Ib once again got his Windies counterpart Bratway Ait while Miraz got the wicket of Gear and Powell. Tajul Islam then trapped Sunil Lambre in front as we lost their third wicket in the second innings. Tajul took his second as Roston Chase drove upishly to Momanul Hukat extra cover as Windies began to unravel in the second innings too. At lunch on day two Windies are facing an uphill task, trailing Bangladesh by 351 runs and with six wickets left. Shai Hope and Shimron Hathmeyer are at the crease for the visitors. It has been an incredible session for Bangladesh who picked up nine Windies wickets for 82 runs with Miraz, Sheikh Ibn Tajil among the wickets. Bangladesh off-spinner Madi Miraz attained career-best bowling figures as he picked up seven wickets against the West Indies at the Sri Bangla National Stadium in Merpur today. Windies became the first team that were made to follow on by the Tigers. Mehdi Miraz bagged four more wickets in this innings, removing Shimron Hetmeyer, Devendra Bishu, Keem Roach and Darich as West Indies fell down the rabbit hole of Bangladesh spin to get bowled out for 111, the lowest score by a team in tests against Bangladesh. It took the Tigers just 12.4 overs more to bring an end to the Windies innings as the visitors added 36 runs to their overnight score of 75 for 5 and lost their remaining wickets.
Hetmeyer was looking good since the start but West Indies' best performer in this series provided the court and bowl chance to Miraz which the bowler did not miss. Bishu then tried to cut but the ball fell to Shadman at silly point to give Miraz his fifth. Roach tried to slog Miraz but was hauled out at long on with light on Das taking the catch. Shakib got the last wicket, that of Lewis as Windies were made to follow on. News, The Daily Star. Thanks for watching.